Hello and welcome back. So this is Sarah's Creative Solutions and I'm Sarah. Hello and today we're looking at how to test stains and glazes. So I've got a test tile there. It's just a little bit of a uh, scrap piece of artwork that I've had knocking around that's been bisque and I've decided to use it as a test tile. So as you can see I've already painted on lots of different colours and the uh, glaze that I mix it with is Duncan Envision glazes. It's a brush on glaze, clear gloss. And the one we're looking at today is NC050 Salmon, and that's the Nano Scarva Stains. I've already painted it on there on the one side, and on the other side there you can see the different uh, colours that come through with and without glaze. As you can see there, it's all showing as just one coat of each. With glaze, that sometimes goes a little bit transparent. Without glaze, it's quite nice, dense, thick colour. So now we've done the salmon, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do each one. So this is Emerald now, NC032 by Nano. As you can see, it's a really nice, deep, rich colour. So just get my spatula, take a little scoop, pop it in a little dish. Make sure I put the lid on nice and tight. And then I use a water bottle spray just to add a little bit of water. And I get my brush and give it a good mix. And it really dissolves very quickly in water, no need to really strain it. And then I just apply one brush width, I suppose, of colour. And then another one with glaze added. So now I'm adding the glaze. Let's mix that in a little bit. And then add another line next to that so I can see what the difference between the two are. Now it's time to write the name on the back. So I use an underglaze pencil and just write the name which is Emerald. Now it's time to clean out the dish, just use a damp sponge to do that, and then we move on to the next colour. This next one is Walnut, which is NC003. There you go, it's really nice dark rich brown. Spatula again little bit in my pot. Use my water spray, make sure the lid is on tight, but use a water spray, just add some water. Use my brush to mix up well. Obviously make sure you clean your brush between applications and then do the same again. I'm going to speed this up now to the end because it's the same process for each colour. And then you will see all the different colours. I will list them as we go. This one is now lavender and that is NC048. And the next one is now coffee and that is NC002. And this one is now Malibu, 
which is NC038. There we have it, there's all the colours we've used today. So here now are pictures of sculptures that I've used this technique on and the nano stains really do stand out, they're vibrant, very cost effective and I really do recommend them. So if you'd like the details I'll add this in the video description below. If you'd like to keep this video for a later date then if you click subscribe it will put it into your viewing list. If you'd like to join my Facebook group where I give free lessons, it's Ceramic Solutions by Backyard Art. See you all next time. Thanks for watching.